Lucy, the matriarch of all modern humans, standing proudly on two feet with her chest up and her head held high. This amazing being was the most advanced organism of her time, dating back 3.2 million years ago. You see, in Lucy's time, she was the only evolved bipedal body, while all of the other apes and monkeys were running around on their hands and their feet. They were literally looking up to Lucy, because Lucy gave them a glance into what would come from human evolution. Lucy's ability to stand on two feet and have an upright postural design changed the course of evolution for every single human being on this planet. Did you know that when human beings evolved to be upright like Lucy, that our brains tripled in size and functional capability? Your upright posture was the single distinguishing factor leading to the evolution of the human superbrain. Your upright posture makes you human. Your posture is so powerful. And yet, as we look around us, we see that human posture is de-evolving at the speed of technology. From the first step Lucy took three million years ago, there was a tripling effect in brain size and cognitive development. It took millions of years to get to where we are today, and just a couple of decades of the internet to start ruining it. As smartphones get smarter, our posture continues to get weaker and weaker. But here's the really scary part. You see, tech neck posture is no longer just a musculoskeletal problem. It's now leading to a neurological disorder called digital dementia. People's brains are suffering from poor posture and the overuse of technology. Research in the frontier of neuroscience demonstrates that this posture is associated with a decline in cognition. And a research study in the New England Journal of Medicine shows that abnormal gait, which is your posture in motion, is a predictor of developing non-Alzheimer-specific dementia. Let me give you an example so you can connect the dots between neurology and your posture. If you look up Parkinson's disease in any textbook or Google it, this is exactly what you'll see. Classic Parkinsonian gait and posture looks just like this. Forward head posture, anterior rolling of my shoulders. When I walk, I have minimal arm swing, and I have a shuffling slow gait pattern. Classic Parkinsonian gait and posture. And this posture is tech neck posture. Notice with tech neck posture, I have forward head posture, anterior rolling of my shoulders. When I walk, because I'm holding my cell phone, I have minimal arm swing, and I have a shuffling slow gait pattern. Look similar, right? But here's the scary difference. You see, Parkinsonian posture is in response to a brain disease, whereas this posture, tech neck posture, is causing a brain deficit called digital dementia. The reticular activating system of your brain stem sends ascending information up to your brain to wake you up and keep you alert. Interestingly, your brain stem also controls your posture. What happens to your posture when you start to get tired and you drift off to sleep? If you want to wake up in an instant, what's the first thing that you do? You engage your posture system to literally wake up your brain. It's no wonder that when we're hunched over our devices in tech neck posture, that our brains start to drift off into a state of brain fog, fatigue, lower cognition, a tech trance. Tech neck posture is the posture of digital dementia. And as posture declines, digital dementia is on the rise. But together, we can make an impact in preventing this grave health crisis. Your transformation to prevent digital dementia requires three important steps. First and foremost is to reduce screen time and notifications to a healthy minimum. And number two is to sit with stimulating posture that wakes up your brain while engaging with your technology. And third is to move with purpose and have an active workspace that supports a higher level of cognition. Your posture transformation will look just like this. A change in centimeters that will change your life a change in centimeters that will change our world. Your upright posture makes you human. And together, we can change communities. We owe it to Lucy, we owe it to ourselves, and we owe it to the next generation to prevent evolving mankind backward with digital dementia and continue to evolve mankind forward with resilient 
upright posture. Thank you.